Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Daydream VR UI, the user interface and the Play Store. My name is Sebastian and this video is for Daydream District, which brings you the latest news and reviews about the Daydream VR platform. And here we are already. This is how the home area looks like. On the top, we have some suggestions of Google. In this case, for example, the great white chart, like this is a YouTube video, star chart and a game. And on the bottom, the bottom line is about the recent apps that I used on Daydream VR. And on the very bottom, we have the Play Store, we have your own library and we have the settings. Let's have a look around. As you can see, we are in some kind of forest environment. Everything is very calm, very serene, very natural, makes you feel comfortable. Makes you... This is a place there where I would like to spend some time. These stone formations here, they are the entry to a cave, which actually houses the Play Store. And you're going to see that later in this video. So now let's delve a bit deeper into the home. So as I told you here on the top, we have some suggestions. And what is cool uh, when you when you use your motion controller to point at those icons, you see they, they change in some kind of 3D fashion. It gives the whole thing more depth and you see how polished this experience really is. Very nice touch. Also the same here with, with your latest apps. They also move a bit when you move your pointer on those icons. So now let's have a, have a look into one of the, the very bottom um, items. Let's have a look into settings. So here we have a clock on the bottom. We can see our battery charge. And then in the next row we can see, we can recenter the controller. We can mute the audio. We can turn off Wi-Fi and we can switch to left-handed because normally the position of the motion controller is position on the right. Now let's have a look at library. This shows your own library, all the apps that you have purchased or downloaded and you can swipe on the touchpad to go to the next screen like so as you see I've downloaded most of the available apps right now and well we're still in the very beginning of daydream so it's not so many and now let's have a look at the play store I think Google has done such a fantastic job with this UI and especially the Play Store is beautiful. You're in this cave and you have all these colorful, beautiful gems. You see the light coming down. It's, it's, just, it's just great to simply have a look around and enjoy. Okay, I'm not a swivel chair right now, so moving around looks a bit awkward, but bear with this video because now I'm back to the front. So let's have a look at the front. See here are some suggestions, the featured app that Google would like you to test out. And I have to say I like this Play Store much better than what Oculus has to offer on the Gear VR. It's more beautiful, it's more clearly laid out and something very cool that you will see later. If you choose one of those apps, you will go to a special place with a special th um, 360 environment just for this app. Now. Here are some apps, some more apps that Google would like me to try. And I can see here there are two new ones, Within is new and also USA Today is new that wasn't there yesterday. So why don't we just have a look into this app and see how it's like if you choose a, spe a certain app. And as you could see, the environment changes. You are now in the environment of USA Today VR stories. And this is different for each of the different apps, which is really cool. So there isn't just this text information or 
or a couple of pictures. No, you are really in a completely new 3D 360 environment that gives you more information. And now I'm also showing you how to install an app. Simply by clicking on, on install and the rest is very self-explanatory and exactly what you would expect. And you don't have to wait there until the app is downloaded. You can go back and check for others. Let's check the environment for Fantastic Beasts. Also very beautiful, very nice. And I think it's a great way for app developers to make a difference and to show off the app even before people download them. So there are some more categories like games for example and I think in general you have a very good idea now of how the Google Play Store looks like and um, I do believe that Google has done an outstanding job on the general UI of Daydream VR. Yeah, that's it for this walkthrough of the Daydream VR user interface and the Play Store. I recorded this video because one of you was asking for it in the comments. So if you would like to see something special, please simply ask in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like and subscribe to never miss any news or reviews about Daydream VR.